welcome you to Boyle. Well, well, first of all, many thanks for this invitation to speak about uh, so important the witness of this. Uh, these persons, these friends, I knew them very well. Um, I think uh, they are persons uh, helping us to understand the meaning of the Gospel when persons are ready to give uh, their lives. And um, it is very important, I think. And for me it's a great pleasure to have the opportunity to to present to you some reflections, some points about uh, this, and, uh, and let me to to start with uh, one a little anecdote. Twenty years ago, uh, very early one morning, I was awake very early for some work. I was listening the radio. The the news of the assassination of these uh, these uh, friends, these Jesuits, and uh, I my memory of this morning is very very fresh, even today, and uh, I remember this very well. One year after, I was in Salvador. Uh, I was not for the funeral, but I was a year after for the first anniversary was a, a meeting and uh, uh, talk about uh, them and the meaning of their uh, their uh, lives and their witness. And uh, I was several times in their uh, house, for example, uh, for the funeral of Bishop Romero, nine uh, years before. I was living with them, I was several times. And uh, I am a Dominican, but I am not sectarian. The Jesuits are good friends also. <laughs> and uh, uh, I say this because really I knew these persons, and uh, especially Ignacio Yacuria. But I, uh, I have met uh, Julia Elba, the housekeeper, and uh, uh, her uh, little girl also, Selina. I would like to present to you some uh, simple reflections in, uh, in three points. One is uh, listen and comment a little bit one text coming from uh, the last uh, uh, Bishops uh, uh, Latin American Conference. It uh, took place in uh, Brazil, in Aparecida and uh, about this kind of witness. Uh, my second point is uh, about the notion of martyrdom, uh, because we call uh, them, uh, many other persons, unfortunately, in uh, my continent, uh, martyrs, but uh, certainly uh, when we speak so, we are taking a very extended uh, notion of martyr. And uh, my third, uh, last point is some reflections about what we call in, uh, in Latin America, in the Bishop Conferences and Liberation Theology, the preferential option for the poor, because uh, it was the option of these, uh, of these friends. Well, um, first of all, for Aparecida, um, You know, unfortunately, uh, these uh, Jesuits were not the first, and they were not the last uh, persons, uh, church persons, lay persons, bishops also killed. Before them, uh, several in Brazil, in other countries, Chile, Argentina, my own country, Peru, and many other places, Panama, and so on. And they were not the last. After that, in other places, in these countries, in other countries also, in Bolivia, uh, some persons were killed for the similar reasons. 
You know, when um, one uh, think uh, we can, uh, in the first approach, is, uh, well, I can call this surprising, uh, because uh, Latin America is uh, a region, a continent, a Catholic great majority, Christian, great, great majority, and we were, we were killing Christians. Not only Catholics, uh, evangelical Protestant people also were killed. And uh, it is a, a true scandal because uh, they were not killed by persons, uh, enemies of, uh, of the Christian uh, churches, but by Christians. By Christians in the sense baptized and uh, affirming I am Christian. And uh, I can read the text from, um, from Aparecida. Is this the brave testimony of, in the beginning, almost in the beginning of this document? The document is a, a little book. In the brave testimony of our men and women saints and those who, even so, they have not been canonized, have lived radically the gospel and have offered their lives for Christ, for the church and for the people. Um, I think uh, uh, it is important uh, to, to observe, to remark the last expression, for Christ, we can, we can say this is traditional, is the, the faith in Christ, the church, but for the people. For the people, it is said by bishops, the Latin American Bishops Conference, the official document, two um, years ago. And you know, for the first time, uh, we have in uh, the conclusions of the bishops' conferences one reference to these uh, terrible facts, the assassinations of Christians because they were Christians. And um, in Puebla, in 79, uh, there is a mention, very light mention, in um, Santo Domingo, uh, 92, a little bit also, uh, the first bishop conference speaking clearly about this, mm? men and women, saints, and those who even so, they have not been canonized, in the case of Romero, not yet, and, um, but they were living radically uh, the gospel. Uh, for the first time, uh, the bishops, uh, in this uh, so official uh, manner. Locally, several bishops were speaking in this way. But in this moment, I am speaking about the, the conference of the all bishops. And uh, first time, we can ask, <laughs> for what reason? Well, I think uh, the reason, the main reason, several reasons maybe, but uh, the main reason was this. Uh, for many persons, factual po powers, political power, economic power, military power in our countries, for these powers, these kind of people were rather politicians. They were doing politics, social, uh, even uh, sometimes, according to them, uh, uh, ideologically uh, socialist people or even Marxist people also. And uh, they, you know, these powers, economic, political, military, uh, are very strong in any country and in our countries especially. And very strong also for the media. And this idea, they were, maybe <clears throat> for this reason, the conference, the two uh, first conferences, 79 and, uh, and uh, 92, were so shy to deal with this question because they were created, this, uh, this um, 
mentality. Uh, they were not good Christians, uh, but uh, um, they were rather other kind of people. And you know, it, um, these uh, assassinations of Christians are uh, starting uh, in the late 60s in Latin America. And uh, in Brazil, maybe it was in the first country, but after that, several. And uh, one bishop before in Argentina, before Bishop Romero, uh, Angelelli, and uh, one bishop after Romero also, Gerardi in Guatemala. And uh, you know, is to is to situate the question is inside of a terrible situation and uh, existing before and uh, unfortunately after also and um, for example again a little thing personal thing uh, one of the, the first writings about liberation theology is dedicated to one priest, young priest, 27 years old, black, from Brazil, a collaborator of uh, uh, Bishop uh, Elder Camara, you know probably the name. And, um, well, um, you know, the resistance of the powers was very important. And uh, to because uh, be, between uh, Vatican II and Medellin, Vatican II finished in 65, and Medellin took place in 68, we have a big change in the Latin American church. Uh, not the whole church, but many people were more and more committed to the poor. And um, and the resistance was very, very important to do some, uh, some small, uh, little uh, reference uh, public, because it's published. We have in 69 a Rockefeller report. Nelson Rockefeller was doing uh, traveling the whole Latin America. He published a report of this uh, travel to the, the North American government. And in this uh, report, uh, it is said, uh, well, we have seen the Catholic Church change position. And uh, until now, the Catholic Church who was a pillar of the Latin American society. Now, uh, the Church is becoming more and more critical. And, uh, well, he, uh, uh, Rockefeller, the report, was saying this, uh, was not a praise, you know, the, it, this, is, this is dangerous for us. This change in the church is uh, dangerous. And uh, for, to, to give only, only another reference, in um, 87 took place in Buenos Aires, a meeting of the armies of the whole continent, from Canada to Chile. And uh, you know what was the subject of this? Of this meeting of the military people? Liberation theology. And uh, very curious, because uh, I, I think it's the first time in history, the armies of a, a continent dealing with the theology. And uh, as a great danger, to the Christian civilization. And uh, I have the booklet, uh, the, this is confidential, but I have this. And uh, it is in my library. And uh, because it's published, really, many people have this. And uh, it's uh, strange. Uh, never, for example, in Europe, uh, the armies were, uh, were together to deal with a theology more important than liberation theology. The theology of Karl Rahner, for example, a, a German theologian. Never the armies were a meeting for this. And, 
And the names were in the booklet, all the names, you know, maybe, Juan Luis Segundo, John Sobrino, Ronaldo Muñoz, Elsa Tames, Pablo Richard, myself, as Jesuit, I don't know why, but, uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's G, I don't know why, for what reason, but I was there also. The names were there, as dangerous persons in the continent. You know where the armies, the armies have uh, arms. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, uh, the assassination of the Jesuits is in this uh, difficult context. I would like not to explain because the, the assassination we cannot explain, but to uh, try to understand for what reason this happened, this. And um, one point before to finish my point about Aparecida. Uh, 